Hello, hello. My name is Wes. I'm a PM on Xbox. And today I want to go over a simple PlayFab UGC scenario in game. So you know tiles like Minecraft and Flight Sim create these amazing UGC experiences for their players. But I want to show you with this demo that you can start off small, you can have a simple game, and it can, UGC can still transform it and provide an amazing experience. So with that, let's just jump right in. So here I have my originally titled Space Simulator game. You can see it's a simple asteroid game. And as you can see, I is UGC enabled. So I'm going to click on the UGC button. And you can see I have currently my UGC catalog includes these three ships. This will match the game manager portal for my game itself. So you can see the exact same three ships, basic red and blue, showing up here. From there, I can create UGC. And you can see I can edit my existing. So this particular account created the red and white ship you saw on the previous screen. Or you can go into the basic ship bundle. I'll create a quick thumbnail. And I can add a title white ship, it's white. And you can see I can add all of these different features and create a draft item. This is especially important because right now this is a very simple UGC scenario, but being able to create and save these drafts means that your UGC can become really complicated and really match all these different sort of experiences. So if you have really complicated content, players can still save their progress and come back to it. So that's the very best when they're ready to publish. With that, I'll publish the white ship. We can quickly check its status. You can see it's pending. And it succeeded. So if we go back to Game Manager, you can see that now the brand new white ship has been added very recently. Similarly, if I go back to the game, you can see it now added there. You can have this sort of live update too on the developer side. So for example, I'm going to create this brand new ship called the green ship. And this is being done in Game Manager, which allows you as a developer to release new content if you'd like. So I want to release this limited edition green ship, for example. But at the same time, you can also have, you can imagine a different player also playing Space Simulator, creating their own ship. And you can see that once I go back, I now have the option to use this green ship. You can check more details. You can review it if it's an item that you didn't create. And finally, you can also, more importantly, you can select it and bring it in game. And you can see it's over there. And this is sort of a very, very simple scenario. And I want to show you that even on the code end, it isn't complicated at all. So in order to upload that content, the important things to realize for your items is that when you create an item, you have the files, which is corresponding to your in-game content, as well as images if you want to display it. And these two files are uploaded in game using the create, the create upload URLs API. And you can see it's simply just uploading the content, uploading the files up. To create a display such as this, very simplified version compared to the amazing marketplaces of Flight Sim and Minecraft, it's simply just using the search API. So you can see here, you can have all these different options and all different requests. In my case, I just use count. But this is where you can apply filters, you can change the sorting, you can have allow free text search. But at a baseline, all you need is just simply call the search API, it'll return that list of items. And everything is simply there. Once you have all of that, all you need to do afterwards is just simply render out 
all the game components for each item. So as you can see, it doesn't take a lot to sort of add UGC to your game. And especially for, with a system like PlayFab UGC, we are hoping to enable anyone who's interested in adding user-generated content to their game to do it with as least hassle and least overhead work as possible. So hopefully this shows you that, tr yes, user-generated content can be these ever-growing, insane game marketplaces, but they can also be as simple as just adding these small little tweaks. And you can see how it can transform a simple game such as Space Simulator into having so much more interaction and such a larger community impact. And that's it for my demo. Thank you for listening.